Tickle on the what? Look down, there's Tickle Town. And there's the river Tom. Tickle on the Tom. Oh, yeah, Tickle on the Tom. <laughs> When the fields are green, dots of color in between, when the fields are green. When I look into those dots I find, daisies, bluebells, dandelions, in that field of green. And everywhere I look, this dotty world's a picture book. Dots and spots of color oh, running oh, into one another. Into one another way. The sky is blue, spots of cloud float into view when the sky is blue. When looking to those clouds I see, faces looking back at me in the sky of blue. And everywhere I look, this study world's a picture book. Dots and spots of color running into one another. Running into one another way. The sea is gray, fronds of seaweed gently sway when the sea is gray. When I look and watch the seaweed sway, Schools of fishes come my way in the sea of gray. And everywhere I look, this dotty world's a picture book. Dots and spots of color running into one another. Running into one another way. The fields are green, dots of color in between. When the fields are green, when I look into those dots, I find daisies, bluebells, dandelions in that field of green. Oh, well, that was delightful. I like the bits and pieces on the four feet behind. When I'm emptying the bins, I find the most amazing things. And I save them out to make my great inventions. The stuff they throw away gives them so much pleasure. It may be just junk to you, but to him it's buried treasure. And he may be a dustman, but things that to mention. People know him just as well for what there's inventions. I like rubbish, but not the smelly kind. I line the bits and pieces of the foley behind When I'm emptying the bins I find the most amazing things And I'll save them up to make my great inventions You would be surprised what people throw away He saves it in his magic bag and use it some all day And he may be a dustman but I think it's fair to mention People know him just as well for all of those inventions I like rubbish but not the smelly I like the bits and pieces of the four lane behind When I'm in the bins I find the most amazing things And I save the mom to make my great inventions He decorates his lorry with the stuff that he has found So you can miss him driving around the streets of the old town I may be a dustman, I think it's fair to mention People know me just as well for all my inventions And I like rubbish Oh, what a lot of old rubbish. What, the song? No, that oh, isn't for you. Oh, thank there you. we are. Well, bye-bye now, then. Bye-bye, oh, Bonnie. Bonnie. Take care. Now, don't you eat it all at once. I won't. <laughs> oh, I know what that is.
Isn't it lovely? Oh, let's have a look. Let's open it. Mm. It can't be. Oh, it's certainly, yeah. Uh... It is. Look. It's pond slime pudding. Ugh. I'm sure the frogs think it's delicious, but... Ooh, well, there's certainly the plenty was. of it, isn't there? Yes, look, I've got nine pots. I expect I could feed loads of frogs with that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine ten. ten. It's easy to count from one to ten. We've got five fingers on each hand. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And counting every one of them. Five and five together make ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. But learning to say your ABC is harder than counting one, two, three. A, B, C, D, E. What comes next? Let me see. If we sing this little tune, I'm sure we'll learn it very soon. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Then letters and numbers all the time are easier with a little rhyme. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Let's sing the counting song again. For five and five together make ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten. <laughs> That's a lovely song, Ralph. Well. Jackie, about your birthday present. Odd, I'll odd. try. Trouble is, I'm so absent-minded. Oh, absent-minded. Well, I'm like that. You know what I always do? I always take a handkerchief and I always tie a knot in it to remind me of... Oh, wait a minute. Now, that must mean there's something I have to remember. Now, let me think. What would I know? I was going to tell everyone about Nurse Knightley. <clears throat> now, I can fall asleep at the drop of a hat. You, you told, told us, us that, that already. already. <laughs> Yes. Oh dear. <laughs> I forgot all about it. <laughs> Freckles and blots and speckles and spots. Tickles expert on pimples. Every shape and every size. Nothing anymore makes him surprised. Even spots in front of your eyes. Send for Dr. Dimple. When you're well, you don't need him. And when you're ill, you do. Spots on the tongue or a pain in the tongue or when you've got the flu. Oh, when, when you've got, got the flu, flu, he listens to your chest cause he knows best and he tells you what to do. He can always cope with his stethoscope and take good care of you. Oh, freckles and blots and speckles and spots, tickles expert on pimples. Every shape and every size, nothing anymore makes him surprised. Even spots in front of your eyes, send the dog to dimple. If you're very tired and yet you cannot sleep, he may arrange a lullaby or get you counting sheep. Or get you counting sheep. And if you find you still can't sleep, he'll tell you what he'll do. Well, he'll ask Roland Cross to come and read some poems to you. Oh, freckles and bloods and speckles and spots, tickles expert on pimples. Every shape and every size, nothing anymore makes him surprised. Even spots in front of your eyes, send the dog to dimple. Now, if you've got a headache and your eyes are very red, you take your temperature and he'll send you up to bed. He'll send you up to bed. Uh, he listens to your chest cause he knows best and he tells you what to do. He can always cope with his stethoscope and take good care of you. So freckles and blots and speckles and spots, tickles expert on pimples. Every shape and every size, nothing anymore makes him surprised. Even spots in front of your eyes send the doctor dimple. Oh, yeah. Sit down, oh. Doctor.
Thank you. Oh, was you lovely dance oh, morning, didn't you? Have you remembered <laughs> why you tied this knot in your hanky? No, I haven't. I tell you, it, it can't. All rub a dub dub, wash and scrub, with her old washboard. Or fancy bag wash, scrubbing all the day, till her hands get sore. Mm -hmm. Rub a dub dub, from her head down to her shoe. Poor Bessie Bag was scrubbing all the day, and she got them washboard blues. Rub a dub dub, wash and scrub, it's more than she can handle. Squeezing all the water around with that ancient mangle. Oh, rub a dub dub, from her head down to her shoe. Poor Bessie coming all the day, she got them washboard blues. Rub a dub dub, wash and scrub, and the clothes hung on the line. Scots with pleats and socks and sheets, she hopes that the weather stays fine. Oh, rub dub dub from her head down to her shoe. Poor Bessie Bag was scrubbing all her day, she's got them washboard blues. The needle did the doo 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 I'll rub, dub, dub, wash and scrub. The new machines are best. Wash your bum and your clothes with a little bit of soap and you let them do the rest. Now, yes, his hands are nice and soft. Cause all the hard work's done. But she keeps her wash for just in case and she plays it just for fun. Oh, rub, dub, dub, from her head down to her shoes. Oh, Bess is so happy now, she's lost them washboard blues. I said, she lost them washboard blues. One more, she lost them washboard blues. Perfect. <laughs> Well, yeah. we've got the song, we've got the, the joke, we've got the, we got the washing powder, we've got the washing powder, and we've got Bessie to sign the packet. All we need now is the public. Okay. That's what I always say. I have to always say that because they always have a beauty. You have to see the funny side and try not to give in. But if I can't laugh every time, at least I manage a grin. <laughs> tap, 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 tap with a hammer. Saw, saw, saw with a saw. Slap, tap, tap with the painting brush. Swing up the hips of the floor. There is no job too small. If you need a job done, you take it on the top, give Barney Barger a call. He tries to keep his temper when things keep going wrong. And if he hits his thumb a lot, he whistles his little song. It hardly hurts at all. Slipping off a ladder is easy when you're going hard to fall. Oh, 
That was lovely. Well, I certainly know that holding Rosie's hand helped me to be brave. Yes, because I bet it was really windy up there, wasn't it? It was. Chris? Yep. And Rosie's kite wasn't the only thing that got lost in Tickle today, because mm. I lost mm. the Tickle mail. I know. You know, how no. do you know? Because I found it blowing down the street it was, and I thought, hello, 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 I thought. <laughs> hey, better take that back. <laughs> well done. Oh, here it is. Connie, you're a marvel. Thank you. There we are, Ralph. Thank I you thought very we'd much. lost it. Well, let's Good see. Well, the first jokes. joke right. is from Christopher Young, and he's four. He comes from Oldham. And he asks, where does a policeman live? I, I don't, don't know. know. Where, where does, does a policeman live? live? <laughs> I'll tell you. 999 Ledsby Avenue. Whee! Ledsby hey. Avenue! <laughs> and Some balloons floating up in the sky. One balloon floating in the big blue sky One balloon on a string balloon and I And happiness is having one balloon More happiness is having two That is why Two balloons, two balloons floating in the big blue sky Two balloons I think they'd lift me off the ground. They try. They try. And three balloons floating in the big blue sky. Three balloons, and I'm still one shy. And if I had another balloon, I could float up to the moon. It's no use. Relaxing hasn't dealt. This is a job for the fireman. But, Freddie, you are a fireman. <laughs> yes, I know, but I can't get it off myself. I'll have to ask the lads down at the fire station oh, to help me out. Wait a minute. Know. Don't forget your pork pie. Oh, my pork pie. <laughs> um, um, uh, just hang, hang on a minute with it. Here, yeah. you hold that. Right, I'll hold that. Yeah. I get me pie out. I, I, I told you. <laughs> That's it. I'll have a surprise. A nice surprise. Now something you didn't expect that happens right before your eyes that makes you smile. That gives you a thrill. Life all and beating united by seven to nil. I love a surprise. <laughs> oh, a treat. Like finding that something that didn't look good was nice to eat. Or an April shower. Or the sun coming out. Well, that's the kind of surprise I'm talking about. Oh, surprises, surprises. Now, which one did you have? Which was the nicest? Whatever the size, no one denies it. Still applies and it comes in disguise. It's why it's the prize, the highs of a nice surprise. I love a surprise. I don't like a shock. Oh! <laughs> I think it is a puzzle, but find it, it's nine o'clock. 
on hill, running into the sea on a hot summer's day. And finding the water so cold, it takes your breath away. I love a surprise, I used to like seeing a fox. Or watching a rabbit come out of a hole like a jack in a box. Or thinking it's spring, like it won't snow tonight. And waking up in the morning to find that everything's white. Oh, surprises, surprises. Now which one did you have, which was the nicest? Whatever the size, no one denies it still applies if it comes in disguise. It's why surprise, the highs of a night nice surprise. I love a surprise, a nice surprise. Now, something you didn't expect that happens right before your eyes that makes you smile, that gives you a thrill, like further and beating united by seven ten hill. Impossible. No, it's not. Oh, surprises, surprises. Oh, which one did you have? Which was the nicest? Well, whatever the size, no one denied. It still applies to become a disguise. It's why surprise, the eyes of a nice surprise. <laughs> Song. I like that song. <laughs> this surprise is nice and squidgy and soft. I think it's something to wear. I know. It's the cardigan. I bought it for my granny. Oh, well, that's granny's. Yep. So now we've got all this. Well, this must be Ralph's present then. Yep. Right, well, we'll put it over. If you like, Ralph, I don't really mind. Well, here's a little song about the things children say when they're tired but they don't want to go to bed. Why is it always bedtime? We're not tired. Can we stay up longer by the fire? Can we watch the news then? See what's happening? Have we gotta clean our teeth then? Can we have a sweet day? Each night coming with another delay Trying to squeeze a little more from the day Early to bed and early to rise Leaves no circles under your eyes Makes little children healthy and wise They say, keeping the night at bay Why have we got to wash now? We had a wash this morning. Bill is all upset now. He can't find his pajamas. I've got a tummy ache now. We'll full them when on Saturday. When is it my birthday? Can we leave the curtains open? Shame about the goldfish Will you sit by my bed? Each night coming with another delay Trying to squeeze a little more from the day Early to bed and early to rise Leaves no circles under your eyes Makes little children healthy and wise They say, keep in the night at bay Oh, Ralph, thanks. That was a really lovely song. You're welcome. Cheers, you Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, it's a heck of a walk and I've put down. I'll tell you. <laughs> no, don't worry, he didn't upset you, did he? Oh, good, I hope no, not. No, 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 there you are, one cackling cake. Oh, no, <laughs> Dr. Dimple, Ralph's cheered me up with his song. Don't be daft, he couldn't have done it. Well, what's that? Yeah, but you don't need your cake. No, I'm not. I'm way down there. I'm nearly rough. I'm getting to the Oh, I'm really fed up with this. I'm grumpy now, I really am. I am. I want my hat and I'm going home. It's all good. All right. What do you mean? What? Your cackling cake. Well, I need this because I'm so fed up. <laughs> That's me at! Now Bessie and Barney were good friends Said hi every time they met And that was until that fateful day He came to the laundromat Well, they used to be friends They used to be friends But, but things went wrong 
about Bonnie had so much washing that he had to get clean. Bessie said, Bonnie, that's okay. Better use two machines. Now they used to be friends. They used to be friends. But things went wrong. Now Bonnie forgot all the fighting. He went for a cup of tea. He let Bessie to do the work and empty his machine. So they used to be friends. They used to be friends. But things went wrong. Now the machines went round. Chop them in half in the door. Poor Bessie wish she had to smile with the flowers lying on the floor. They're her friends. He made a man, he made a man again. They made a man. Fine old song, ha ha! And I must say, I hope you enjoy your turkey. Thank well. you very much. Oh, I'll get it. Well. I wonder who that could be. The telephone. Well, I expect it's someone wanting to know. Monica gave to me a call that she got from call three. Jackie. Jackie? Oh, dear. Isn't it marvellous? Ralph? Ralph? Oh, look, I'm really Hello, sorry. Jackie. I've been down at the Village Hall rehearsing the children's concert. How was your concert tour? Oh, fine. It's great to be back. Even though there was nobody here to meet me. Oh, great. <laughs> How was your rehearsal? Oh, it was great. But listen, I'll tell you all about it when we get inside. Oh, um, could you open the door? Look, there's yeah. the key. Oh, dear. Right. Much. Yeah. I've got my hands full, I'm afraid. Yes. What have you got under there? Ah, oh, surprise. Surprise, mm -hmm. eh? Mm-hmm. A surprise. <sighs> Is it a Christmas present? No, it's not a Christmas present. Well, what kind of surprise is it, then? Say hello to Jenny. A baby? <laughs> yes. She's Mrs. Field's youngest. Isn't she lovely? She's beautiful. Well, what's she doing here? I'm babysitting for her. <laughs> Farmer Field and Mrs. Field were called out on an emergency, so I said I'd look after her. Oh. oh what kind of emergency? Well, actually, it seemed quite Hello. serious. There's a good girl. One of their friends has gone missing. Oh, dear. Anybody we know? No. Mr. Robinson, they said his name was. Hmm. Um, actually, he sounded a bit strange to me. Hello. Really? What? How strange? Well, he was about this tall, they said. Mm -hmm. uh, and he was quite an elderly sort of chap. 
and mm -hmm. they said he had sticky out ears, knobbly oh, knees, dear. and they said winter or summer, he always wears a battered old straw hat. Well, he should be easy enough to recognise anyway. He <laughs> should be. Anyway, they're out looking for him now. Mm. And they said when they found him, they're going to come and collect Jenny. Well, young Jenny, you certainly are a surprise to come home to. She is. I'll tell you something. I love a surprise. I love a surprise. A nice surprise. Something you didn't expect that happens right before your eyes and makes you smile. Like if you were thrilled. Like full and beating united by seven to nil. I love a surprise. I like a birthday treat. Like finding that something that didn't look good was nice to eat. Or an April shower. Or the sun coming out. Now that's the kind of surprise I'm talking about. Oh, surprises, surprises. <laughs> which one did you have which was the nicest? Whatever the size, no one denies it still applies. When it comes to the scores, it's what a surprise. The highs of a nice surprise. I love a surprise. I don't like a shock. <laughs> like thinking it's half past six, but finding it's nine o'clock. Running into the sea on a hot summer's day. And finding the water so cold it takes your breath away. I love a surprise. Like seeing a fox. Or watching a rabbit come out of a hole like a jack in a box. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> it's spring, but it won't snow tonight. And waking up in the morning to find that everything's white. Yeah. Oh, surprises, surprises. surprises. Which one did you have which was the nicest? Whatever the size, no one denies it still applies. If it comes to disguise, it's one surprise. The eyes of a nice surprise. Hey! Did you like that? That was a special little baby's concert. All for you, Jenny. <laughs> Because I'm afraid I think you're a little bit too young to go to the children's concert. Hmm. When is the children's concert, by the way? Well, you know, it's always on Christmas Day after lunch. Oh, yes, yeah, Christmas Day. That's right, yeah. I look forward to that. Hmm. Wait a minute. It's Christmas Day tomorrow. Yes, I know. Well, don't you think we'd better get ready, then? Yes, I suppose we had. Look, I'll tell you what, I'm going to take Jenny up and see if she'll have a little sleep. Ooh. Oh. And then I'll come back and uh, we'll have a little rehearsal. Okay. Oh. See that one? Yeah. Sure, the lights flicker. It is probably all the snow. There's so much about. There's probably something wrong with the cables. You know. Say bye bye. Bye bye. Night night. Bye night. bye, Ralph. Night night, Jenny. Night night. You know what? Night night. She doesn't look that tired to me. <laughs> night night. Come on. You're going to have a lovely sleep now. Why is it always bedtime? We're not tired. Can we stay up longer by the fire? Is it too late for a story? Can we leave the light on? Are you coming up soon? Will you bring a drink of water? Each night coming with another delay Trying to squeeze a little more from the day Early to bed, night to rise Leaves no circles under your eyes Makes little children healthy and wise, they say Keeping the light of day What we gotta wash now, we had a wash this morning. Bill is all upset now, he can't find his pajamas. I've got a tummy ache now, we're full and went on Saturday. When is it my birthday? Can we leave the curtains open? There's a shame about the goldfish Will you sit by my bed? Each night coming with another delay Trying to squeeze a little more from the day Early to bed and night 
to rise. Leaves no circles under your eyes. Makes little children healthy and wise, they say. Keeping the light at bay. I think you've done the trick. I think she's asleep. Oh, good. <laughs> Oh, just like the audience of my concert last night, actually. Oh. Anyway, who we got at this year's children's concert? Oh, don't you know? Look, no, no, I seen I'll show you. Mm -hmm. Have a look here. There's a oh, poster. Ah, children's concert, Christmas Day, 3 p.m., Tickle Village Hall. I know the other acts, but who's this at the bottom? The great Mysterio <laughs> and Doris. Have you never heard of them? No, I haven't, no. Well, the great Mysterio, well, he's a pretty good magician. Mm. But Doris, well, Doris, she's his pretty amazing, wonderful, superbly talented assistant. Well, sounds as if you know her. I do, actually. Quite well, as a matter of fact. Well, who is she? Ta da! You, you? You're Doris? Me? Well, who's the great Mysterio, then? Oh, you'll <laughs> recognise him when you meet him. He's instantly recognisable. Hmm. I tell you what, mm -hmm. I'll show you what he looks like. All right, then. Wait, that's me? Mm-hmm. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, yes. No. No. Yes. I can't. You can. I won't. You will. But I haven't got a suit. Yes, you have. You're not going to get out of it that easily, you know. I borrowed a suit especially for you from Willie Fulham, the famous magician. Oh, go on, try it on, Ralph, please. But... Uh, please, uh, just for me. Please. All right. <laughs> Amazing. I told you it belonged to a magician. Come and try the hat on. Wow. Oh. You look really good. Oh, it feels good. Let me try the hat on. Wait a minute. It doesn't fit properly. Hello. What's this? A chicken. <laughs> a rubber chicken. Do you know what? I think I might be able to do a few tricks in this outfit. I'm well, sure. I hope so, because I have also borrowed for, for you from Willie Fulham, specially for you. His conjuring table! Wow! Right, now, what we have to do is get all this set up. Yes, get this all set up. And then we can have a little rehearsal. If you right. move that stool... I'll put that over there. I have got another little surprise for you. Yes. If you could just help me with this. Help you with this? Mm -hmm. I've just got to move oh, it. Oh, move it round. All right. That's it, like, like that. that. Yes. There we go. Right. Yes. Now go stand over there. Stand here. Because this is going to amaze you. All right. All my own work. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the great... Mysterio! It says Mister. Does it? No, no, the EO is round the corner. Oh, here. Yeah, I'm sorry. Oh, Mysterio, right, yes. Right, now, I'm just going to put on some music. Some Ooh, music. they always have music. They always have music. Are you ready? Yes, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, so, please, a big hand for the great Mysterio. Thank right, thank you. I found this in my pocket. I wonder what this would do. One it's just a little spit of silk. Hello, but Cadabra, it becomes a hand. Great, great. Do you like that? Yeah, yeah, another one, another one. Another one. Right, Go. how about the old parrot trick, then? The old parrot trick. Absolutely. Take this. Pot of paints, an ordinary pot of paints. One ordinary colours, pot of paints. And we just put a little bit of red at the top here. A little bit of red at the little top. A little bit of blue at the bottom here. A little bit of blue at the bottom. A little yellow for the eye. Yellow for the eye. And you see a beautiful painted parrot in front of you. It hasn't changed colour. Right, close the, close the box. Oh, close yes, the, box. the magic word. May I wave the magic wand over the bar? Yes, sir. Tickle on the tum. And open the box. Open the box. The colours have vanished. Where have they gone? And they've become into the parrot. Before your very eyes. Ooh. Oh, well done, Ralph. That's brilliant. Brilliant. <laughs> right, and next. now to close, take this ping pong ball. Would you a show? Ping pong ball. Would you show the people that is quite an ordinary ping pong oh, ball by giving it, ball. giving it one bounce, one bounce, giving it two bounces, giving it two bounces. <laughs> and now, would you and. attempt to balance the ping pong ball on the edge of this scarf? You see, it's just an ordinary red silk scarf. One Nothing behind. ordinary silk scarf, and I shall attempt, attempt to balance it upon the scarf. Drum roll. Brilliant! Hi, thank you. Brilliant! Just do a few tricks like that. Two tricks like that. And I'll switch the music off. And then 
We can go into the big song and dance routine. The big song and dance routine? Yep. What big song and dance routine? <laughs> you know, the one where you sing and I dance. Well, I'm glad you said me sing and you dance. I didn't know you could dance. Just watch me, kiddo. But I'll tell you what. Go first on, of all, we follow Bessie and, uh, and her washboard. All right. So why don't we sing Bessie's her washboard blues? All right. Whee! rub a dub dub wash and scrub with that old washboard. All fancy back on scrubbing all the day till her hands are sore. Oh, rub da da from her head down to her shoes. Poor Bessie Bang was scrubbing all the day and she's got them washed by blues. Rub a dub dub, wash and scrub, and it's more than she can handle. Squeezing all the water out with that ancient mango. Oh, rub da da from her head down to her shoes. Poor Bessie Bang was scrubbing all the day and she's got them washed by blues. Scrub the new machines of bands. <laughs> oh, you pour in the cones with a little bit of soap and let them do the best. Oh, rub the dog from her head down to her shoes. Oh, man, she's so happy now. She loves them wash bubbles. I said, she loves them wash bubbles. One more, she loves them wash bubbles. <laughs> Wonderful. That's brilliant. <laughs> yeah, that go down all right. Yeah, that's the song and dance routine. Well, what do we do, though, to close the act? Well, I thought we could tell a few jokes. Oh, that's a good idea. Do we know any good ones? Well, I will do when I found the tickle mail. Oh, the of tickle course, mail. I can't find it. Have you seen the tickle mail anywhere? Have okay. I seen the tickle mail? I tell you what, I might be able to help you as I'm the great Mysterio. By, really? Well, how about this? Nothing in the hand. Nothing in the hand. Nothing up the sleeve. No. Watch closely. That's brilliant. Who's that from? You amaze me. This is a joke from Bunny Brown, and it was a lot of Bunny Brown. magic. I say, I say, I say, what do you get if you cross Father Christmas with a ferocious tiger? I don't know. What do you get if you cross Father Christmas with a ferocious tiger? Santa Claus! Oh, Yay! I've got one here. Let's see. Who's this from? Who's ah. that from? Is it from old Farmer Field? Old oh, Farmer Field. And he's come to say, I say, I say, I say, what's Father Christmas's wife called? I don't know. What is Father Christmas's wife called? Merry Christmas. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> Thank you. Very good. And we have here another joke. And this one comes with lots of love from Bessie Bagwash. Dear old Bessie. I say, I say, I say, what do chimpanzees sing at Christmas? I don't know. What do chimpanzees sing at Christmas? Jungle bells! Jungle bells, oh. jungle all the way. There's one more, let's see. Oh, I wonder who this could be from. Um, Barney Bodger? I think you're probably right. Yes, Barney Bodger. And he says, I say, I say, I say, for our next Christmas dinner, I'm going to cross a chicken with an octopus. You're going to cross a chicken <laughs> with an octopus? What on earth for? So we can all have a leg each, eh? Oh. Thank you. <laughs> Made my hair stand on end. Oh, Ralph, will, will you go and see what it is? Oh, all right. Well, I don't think you ought to go. It's your shop. Go on, well, you have a look. I would, I, I would only, um, only. Only what? I'm a coward. So am I. <gasps> oh! <laughs> oh, Ralph, yes. we've got to be brave. Well, Let's I will. go together. Yes, all right then, but could you walk? Oh, say... I'm sorry. Yeah. Sorry, I'm just right. so scared. Will you hold my hand? Yes, I'll hold your hand. Right, we'll look at. Have a look. Can you see anything out here? Can you see anything? No, no, okay. I can't. Can you? No. Is it me or has it suddenly gone really cold in here? Hey, you're freezing. You better go upstairs and get something warm on. It's so cold. <sighs> hey, who put the lights out? I think it must be the, the snow. It's brought down the power cables. <laughs> Oh, Ralph, I'm scared. Don't be scared. Come on. Sit down. You just sit down. You'll be fine. Funny, you know, you kind of feel somebody's watching you. When you pour a small And everything is tall And you need a hand to hold
<laughs> you know. For the great Mysterio. That's just light work. You know, I can hear someone prowling around out there. <laughs> Perhaps it's that friend of Farmer Field, you know, Mr. Robinson? Oh, I hope not. Why? Well, I wouldn't like to meet him on a dark night. Oh, 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 oh no, the key's gone. What did I do with it? Oh, Ralph, have you got the key? Oh, keys. Is that keys? Oh. Oh. This is ridiculous. Maybe it's in your overcoat. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Ah! There's a horrible face in the window! No. no. It's a donkey. Just a donkey. And look what he's got written on his hat. Mr. Mr. Robinson. Robinson. So you're Mr. Robinson, of course, about... So high. Sticky out ears. Knobbly knees. <laughs> and a straw, a straw hat. Farmer Field's friend. Of well, course. he's got some nice friends, hasn't he? He has. Hello. Oh, well, I think we should probably get him back and Jenny, too. Oh, yes, Jenny, of course. Well, listen, I'm going to go and change my clothes and I'll bring Jenny down. All and right. I'll see you both in a minute. All right. So, this is Mr. Robinson. Sold a valley chap Sticky out ears and normally knees And his name written there on his cap All of the animals down on the farm And some of the children's pets Something tells me you're the one The one they love the best Mr. Robinson. Ralph, we're ready. <laughs> All right. Oh, listen, um, could you take the lamp? Well, I'll try. I'll see what, put your coat on first. Well, you it's hold cold the donkey, there. then. All right, he's Can all right. You? Look, Jenny. Look, this is Mr. Robinson. Isn't he good? Mm -hmm. Yes, he's lovely. <sighs> right. Now, where's the key? Oh. Key up. We still need the key. I don't know. We can't leave the shop unlocked. Oh, look. Oh, Jenny had, had it, it all, all the time. time. There we are. Thank you. You take that. You it's lock like the door. Double or drop. Come this on, Mr. Right. Robinson. On. You take the donkey. Come on. Come on. Come on. Are you waiting? Oh. 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 What a Christmas Eve this turned out to be, huh? Mm. Listen, Ralph. The bells of St. Tickle. They're ringing in Christmas. May the season bring you joy and find you in good health. But most of all, we wish you all the things you wish yourself. It's incredibly good for your soul. I 
and the soles of your feet feel incredibly sweet when you sat with your feet in a bowl It's a thankless job, it's a thankless job. They're about the worst mob that you've ever seen. They are pretty useless, but they're keen. Come on, you rovers, you tickle rovers. We're all standing here in freezing cold. Come on, you rovers, you tickle rovers. Up by giving us a goal. Charlie Cobb is our goalkeeper, and he's too old. Like me, he's too old. <laughs> and he's as lively as a railway sleeper. I don't think that he could even catch a cold. Come on, you rovers, you tickle rovers. We're all standing here in freezing cold. Come on, you rovers, you tickle rovers. Warm us up by giving us a gold. Now Sergeant Sweeney's really past his prime. He's dreadful, <laughs> absolutely dreadful. And he's always falling over all the time. But he always gets up smiling from the dirt and from the grime. Come on, you rovers, you tickle rovers. We're all standing here in freezing cold. Come on, you rovers, you tickle rovers. Warm us up by giving us a go. My name is Ollie the Otter, I'm as happy as can be. And I like to run and I like to swim and I like to excuse me. Perhaps it was my breakfast, perhaps it was my tea. Whatever it was, it's a bit of a drag when you gotta go. Hop. Excuse me. With a hick and a hop and a hick, hick up and a hick and a hop. Excuse me. My name is Ollie and I'm an otter and I've got hop. Excuse me. Cook, who do you think you are making this noise? It's a cuckoo up in a tree. Well, my name is Ollie and I'm an otter and I've got hop. Excuse me. So purpose so prong, Ollie, now can't you see? Oh, Ollie, I need rescuing. The current's too strong for me. Oh, the current's too strong for me. So Ollie dived in the river, put Fergus on his back. 
And he didn't notice that his hiccups had gone Till he got to the river bank Till he got to the river bank Not a hick, not a hop, not a hick, hick up Not a hick, not a hop, excuse me Luck has made only forget to kick And all he said, thanks You've cured me My name is Ollie the Otter I'm as happy as can be And I like to run and I like to swim And I like to go around the place Without hiccuping everywhere And having to say excuse me Quick. Whereabouts yeah. in the paper is the picture? Well, then? I think you should be in the middle pages. Let's have a look. Oh. Oh. What's the matter? Oh, did you get this copy from Rosie, Mo Rosie Moon by any chance? Yes, how can you tell? Well, I happen to know that Rosie Moon loves paper dolls. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, dear. Well, I wonder who this person can be on the front page. Oh, look! It's a <laughs> Look! So you made the headlines after all. Runs our chip shop is known as Willy Wok. He makes the greatest fish and chips. He's a marvelous Chinese cook. The people round here are slow to change, and they still won't have to go wrong. They still refrain from the old chow mein, poor old Mr. Wok. Wrap it all up in the tickle times. It's gotta be wrapped in paper. A nice pickled onion and a wally on the top. Plenty of salt and vinegar. No chopsticks with your fish and chips, so how the flavor lingers, lingers, lingers. lingers. A short treat walking down the street, keep it with your fingers. Now old Granny Gribble came in one day and she ordered fish and peas, please. Oh, just this once. Then Mr. Walk, please try something Chinese. So Granny tries the sweet and sour, and it tasted very nice. Now everyone loves egg foo young and special prawn fried rice. Wrap it all up in the tickle times, it's gotta be wrapped in paper. A nice pickled onion and a wally on the top, plenty of salt and vinegar. No chopsticks with your fish and chips, so hard to flavor lingers, lingers, lingers. It's a special treat walking down the street. are changing now in this town of tickle people still love fish and chips with an onion that is pickled the bamboo shoots are coming in and they're crunching and they're chewy 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 and it's nice to take a straw with a fish spring roll and the cotton off chop soon wrap it all up on the tickle times it's gotta be wrapped in paper a nice pickled onion and a wally on the top plenty of salt and vinegar no chopsticks with your fish and chips, so hard to play the lingers, lingers, lingers. It's a special treat walking down the street, eating it with your fingers. Oh, beautiful. beautiful. Well, I must be off. I've got other fish to fry. Wait, wait, just let's just put our arms around each other. Yes, yes. okay. Yes. One, two, this leg. three, four. Oh, we're not bad oh. at this. Oh. oh, my name is Kenny and I'm a kangaroo, garoo, garoo. I'd like to say good day. Good day. Good day, and how do you do? But if you were ever to ask me what I really love to do, I'd say boing around all day all over Australia. Oh, I think we've got it now. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. oh dear, we've got oh, it. Now there's one thing about all baby kangaroo, oh. garoo, garoos. Everyone is a bouncing baby and their mums are oh, bouncers yes. too. And if you ever caught up with us, to us what we love to do, we'd say boing around all day, all over Australia. Ready for this, Ralph? Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, great, just like Ralph Harris. 
Well, Australia is great if you're a kangaroo guru Because there's plenty of space around for you to go boinging and bouncing through The koalas and the kookaburras, they all go, how'd you do? And they wish they were boinging too All round Australia Come on, wobble that hey, point, boing, boing, boing. Oh, my name is Kenny and I'm the kangaroo guru guru I'd like to say good day, good day, good day, and how do you do? But if you were ever to ask me what I really love to do, I'd, I'd say, say boing, boing around, around all day. day. I'd, I'd say boing around all day. day. I'd, I'd say boing around all day. day. All over Australia. Boing, 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 Oh, tap, tap, tap with a hammer. Saw, saw, saw with a saw. Tap, tap, tap with a painting brush. Sweeping up the bits of the floor. Push, push, push with the sandpaper. There is no job to stop. If you need a job done, you take it out the top. You can't be fired to be called. Nurse Knightley said, oh, well done, Barney. Have a cup of tea. I'm not surprised, cos plumbing's always been his specialty. And after all that hard work, he was ready for a drink. <laughs> not he leaves, he leaves that cake pouring down the sink. Oh! Tap, 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 tap. <laughs> door, 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 door. Slap, tap, tap with the painting brush, or swiving up the bits of the floor. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh with the sandpaper, there is no jump too small. If you need a jump done, it take a lot of time, give your Barney Bodger a call. He tries to keep his temper when things keep going wrong. And when he hits his thumb a lot, he I wish he was happy. Little song. <laughs> it hardly hurts at all, slipping off a ladder's easy. It's no in high Tap, tap, tap with a hammer. Saw, saw, saw with a saw. Slap, tap, tap with a painting brush. Sweeping up the bits of the floor. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh with the sandpaper. There is no job too small. If you need a job done, then take all the time. Give Barney a call. I say, give Barney a call. Barney, can you smell something? I can smell burning. Yeah, it smells like burning over all. Burning overalls. Oh no! Oh. Yes, Bessie. <laughs> well, why not? Well, I can see it now. Jackie and her amazing <laughs> musical chair. What do you say, Ralph? Well, let's see how it sounds in a song. I've got a boinging song here. You ready? Yep. Let's go. Oh, my name is Kenny and I'm a kangaroo, garoo, garoo. I should I'd like, like to say good day. Good day. Good day, good day and how do you do? And if you were ever to ask me what I really love to do, I'd say boing around all day all over Australia. That's good, that's good. <laughs> now there's all one thing about all baby kangaroo, garoo, garoos. Everyone is a bouncing baby and their mums are bouncers too. And if you ever caught up to us what we really love to do, we'd say boing around all day all over Australia. That's it. Boing, 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 boing. Well, now the worst thing that can happen to a kangaroo garoo is for him to lose his boy and his bounds. He doesn't know what to do. When mud goes hard around your feet and you're really stuck like glue, and you should be boinging and bouncing round Australia. <laughs> Very good. Now Australia is great if you're a kangaroo guru Cos there's plenty of space around for you to go boinging and bouncing through The koalas and the kookaburras, they all go how'd you do sport And they wish they were boinging too all round Australia Boing boing, diggity boing ding Oh, oh my, my name, name is, is Kenny, Kenny and I'm the kangaroo guru guru I'd like to say good day, good day, good day, good day, good day and how do you do but if you were ever to ask me what I really love to do, I'd say boing around all day. I'd say boing around all day. I'd say boing around all day, all over Australia. Sing, Dawson.
to do. Who drives the school bus? The no-nonsense lady, no bother or fuss. All right then, you lot, she says with a grin. Behave in the back and the children pile in. Now is everyone in? Then off we will go. Not very fast and not very slow. By laughing and shouting and singing inside The children adore us at school they will ride Wheezing up Tickle Hill Maybe hard and all the thrill And rolling back down when the lights are green And school is over and children are free to go play Is what Dora says, it's a bit slower now, and it's seen better days, and it's almost and me. Well, we may not be fast, but who wants to hurry to school? May I have? Wheezing on, tickle here, tickle here. I don't think that's my heart. Really? No. You know what it is? No. It's me watch. <laughs> All freckles and blots and speckles and spots Tickles expert on pimples Every shape and every size Nothing anymore makes him surprised Even spots in front of your eyes Send the dog to dimple Now when you're well you don't need him But when you're ill you do Spots on the tongue or a pain in the tongue Or when you've got the flu Oh, when you've got the flu you? He listens to your chest cause he knows best Then he tells you what to do he can always cope with his stethoscope. 
And take good care of you. And you, and you, and you, and you, and you, and everybody else. Oh, freckles and blots and speckles and spots. Tickles and spurs, lump and bones. Every shape and every size. Nothing more makes him surprised. Even spots in front of your eyes. Send the dog to dimple. Now, if you've got a headache, and your tries are very rare, he'll take your temperature and he'll send you off to bed. He'll send you off to bed. Well, he listens to Jess cause he knows best and he tells you what to do. He can always cope with his stethoscope and take good care of you. Yes, I will. I absolutely promise. <laughs> Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Oh, it hurts. Oh, my goodness. Yes, Doctor, yes. You know you said yes. your chest felt a bit strange. I said it felt very strange. It and does. your yes. neck hurts. My neck hurts. It still well, does. It's hurting. Does it feel sort of tight? Tight? That's the word. Exactly the word. Tight. Ah. Uh -huh. Yes. Well, I would say, Doctor, what? you have a severe case of Bessie I... bagoshitis. Bessie bagoshitis. What's what? that? What is it? His shirt shrunk in the wash. Oh. Oh. Right. Quick, cure me. Let's undo a few buttons and we'll see what that mm -hmm. does. <laughs> feel any better? <laughs> It's lovely. Really? Well, under your collar. Oh, that's it. I'm cured. It's a miracle. Oh, Jackie, you're a genius. I suppose I am, really. It was the weasel. Di loves that. Does he? He sings it in E flat. Oh, does he? Well, he's going to get it in C and make do with that. Oh. <laughs> It was pretty brilliant, but the trouble is he keeps forgetting the words. Filbert the parrot's trying to teach him. Filbert? Oh, you want to watch him? He's a very rude bird. Yes, that's <laughs> true, yes. In Bunny Brown's pet shop there's a parrot. He's a very rude bird, and he couldn't give a carrot what anyone thinks of him. <laughs> but the things he says will make you grin. <laughs> Hello, spotty face. I'm a banana. Oh, what a whopper. Hello, Grandma. Knickers. Knickers. Needle my balloon. I've seen a monkey just like you. In Bunny Brown's pet shop, she's embarrassed. Where does he learn such naughty words? Just when she thinks he's getting better, he comes up with something worse. <laughs> Hello, spotty face. Hello, banana. Oh, what a whopper. Hello, grandma. Knickers. Knickers. Neither mine or no. And I've, I've seen a monkey just, just like you. In Bunny Brown's pet shop, perched on his stand, sits Wilbert the parrot, looking very grand, and nobody's safe from him. All the things he says when you walk in. <laughs> Hello, spotty face. Have the banana. Oh, what a whopper. Hello, Grandma. Knickers. Knickers. Need a light and blue. And I've, I've seen a monkey just, just like you. I've seen a monkey just like you. <laughs> oh, that Phil, but I don't know where he gets it from. <laughs> well, I must get back to the shop now. You'll tell your niece, Kate, to look after Di, won't you? Oh, I will. And thank you very much indeed, oh, Bunny. Oh, that's a pleasure. Bye. 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 Do you know, Katie's going to be delighted with Di. Do you really think so? Oh, yes. Hello, Di. Do you know, I think he's looking a bit sad. You don't suppose he's missing Bunny already? No, let's try and cheer him up. We've got a joke here. A oh, joke, we... yes. That's yes, there's one here. This is from Danielle Davis from Sunnybank Primary School, mm -hmm. Berry. Now, listen, Di. Listen. Did you hear about the man who couldn't tell the difference between toothpaste and putty? He's shaking his head, he didn't. He didn't. No. Well, all his windows fell out. <laughs> Nothing, not even a smile. Wait oh. a minute, he's thinking about it. Right. <laughs> He likes it. I think he's got it. Well, he's really George, laughing. I think he's got it. <laughs> what sort of thing does a farmer do? He has to work ever so hard. Whether he's out in the fields all the day or whether he's in the farmyard. Feeding the 
chickens or milking the cows or rounding up the sheep when he goes to bed at the end of the day he very soon falls asleep cause he's ever so tired what sort of things does a farmer grow oats and barley and wheat potatoes and cabbages if he's got room and grass for the cows to eat. Digging and plowing and sowing the ground. With different kinds of seeds. Digging and plowing and sowing the ground. He grows everything he needs. Sometimes grows fat. <laughs> what sort of things does a farmer drive? A tractor that's big and so strong. Whether he's plowing a row in a field or pulling potatoes along, and a lorry to carry the cows and the sheep, a market and back to the farm, and a car that he uses just on weekends and stays all the week in the barn with the chickens and geese, and a car he uses just on. Weekends that stays all the week in the bar with the chickens and geese. Take along. Pawnee capers on patrol in Tickle Town. She walks up the streets and round the houses, then walks down again. Pawnee capers on patrol in Tickle Town. She wants to help somebody, she wants to be their friend. Hello, 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 what's this then? Sergeant Sweeney will say. What kind of mess, no, let me guess, have you been in today? Was it the thing in the road? Oh, Tommy Tiny, well, I should have known. Connie, what kind of mess are you in today? Connie capers on patrol in Tickle Town. She walks up the streets and round the houses, then walks down again. Papers on patrol in Tickle Town. She wants to help somebody. She wants to be their friend. Hello, 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 what's this then? Oh, Sergeant Sweeney will say. What kind of mess, though, let me guess, have you been in today? Or was it the talking max? Well, there's a funny thing now, fancy that old Connie, what kind of mess are you in today? Connie Capers on patrol in Tickle Town. She walks up the streets and round the houses, and then walks down again. Connie Capers on patrol in Tickle Town. She wants to help somebody. She wants to be their friend. She wants to help somebody. She wants to be their friend. Well. I'll tell you something. I want to know how it knows who's standing on it. Dr. Dimple got on a bus for he was in a hurry. He was off to visit Mrs. Field. Cause Farmer Field was worried about her. All the way there he rattled along. And all he could see was white. Cause he wasn't on the bus at all. He was riding with Milkman Mike. That's where he was. And just because he didn't have his glasses on Or he'd have seen that things were wrong The safest place to keep them, I suppose I Is he right there on your nose where they are. The doctor got to Mrs. Field He thought she looked quite fat No wonder she has got a cold He thought running around like that At her age on all fours in her underwear Doing a garden gym But it wasn't Mrs. Field at all It was Rosie, her old pig That's who it was And just because He didn't have his glasses on Or he'd have seen that things were wrong The safest place to keep them, I suppose Is right there on your nose 
Where Doctor got his glasses back, he put them on his nose and found that to his shock and horror, he was wearing his dear wife's clothes in daylight, wearing Mrs. Dimple's dress, made his face go red. And all set off with a chamber pot, all stuck upon his head. That's where it was, and just because he didn't have his glasses on, or he'd have seen that things were wrong. The safest place to keep them, I suppose, is right there on your, right there on your, right there on your nose. Look, you think, what you know is on your lovely song. Now, you know that one. Wait a minute. Yes, Wait a what, minute. What? I'm waiting. What? It's coming back to me. What is? My tickle oh, joke. Oh, we won't put it somewhere. Joke. Right, Come you on, ready for this? Yes, I am. Go okay. on, sell it well. Five pounds of potatoes. Five, Five pounds, pounds of potatoes. Corn beef. Corn beef. Corn Ten of two. Ten of two. two. Cornflakes. Corn Corn Three bags of assorted crisps. Three bags of assorted crisps. That's good. I, I don't get it. I don't get that. Oh, wait a minute. Perhaps it's a riddle. Mm. I shall decipher it. Let's see. Right. Five pounds of potatoes. Right. Corn beef. Ten of two. Of course, corn for Three bags. You know what this means, don't you? Know you? What? Tell me. Hey, yes. don't you get it? Don't you get it? No. Mrs. Moon's shopping list. Who's Mrs. Moon? Oh!